Today's Gospel, Wednesday, January 4, is taken from St. John, chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them, following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher. Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew the brother of Simon Peter was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter, the Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Benji Munyaske Jr. Total Surrender Two of John the Baptist's disciples were following Jesus and asked him where he stays. Jesus characteristically responds, Come, and you will see. And this is where true happiness is, with Jesus. In the same manner, Jesus summons us in this gospel to come that we may see. However, it seems inconceivable to find and see Jesus in what is happening in the world today. The daily upheavals are distracting us from seeing the light and from attaining real joy. Many years back, I joined a Catholic charismatic community in what to me was an invitation to walk in holiness and righteousness. But it was not an aha moment for me. After the initial spiritual formation seminars, I found myself half-heartedly following Jesus. It was because of the things that I find difficult to completely surrender to the Lord. These were my worldly attachments. I reckon that if I have opened myself earlier to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, the light of Jesus could have shone brighter in my life today. I understand though that I am a work in progress. Andrew and his brother, Simon Peter, were the embodiment of openness and total surrender to the invitation of Jesus. As I do the same, I will find myself transformed when Jesus calls my name. Shalom. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, thank you for inviting me and for making me your beloved. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.